So my concern is uh, the cost of this might be for some of the people. So does insurance also cover the cost of this? Or? Unfortunately, most insurances do not. Okay. Um, and it's, it's part of the battle that we have in the hearing industry. Um, mm. Medicare does not cover hearing. Oh my. And so <laughs> Medicare is kind of the gold standard. And, and uh, because it doesn't cover hearing, um, then most insurances don't either. Now, our recommendation for people is, is, is to contact their insurance provider mm -hmm. and give them their benefit and uh, give them their, their plan number and ask them if they have a hearing aid benefit, mm -hmm. not a hearing benefit, because most insurances will cover the cost of a test, sure. but most providers don't charge for the test anyhow. Okay. And so they need to find out if they actually have a hearing aid benefit. Oh. Um, some do, but less than 10%. Okay, so let's say they decide or they're not really sure exactly where they want to go with this. And, you know, a lot of people put it off for so many mm -hmm. years. What are some of the signs of untreated hearing loss? Well, um, you know, withdraw. We see people mm -hmm. really just start to withdraw from life. Okay. They, it, it's too much bother for them to try to concentrate that hard uh, to, to hear. The other thing, memory loss. Mm -hmm. You know, what happens is, is, you know, the brain can only do so much. And if, if you're in a situation where you're spending most of your brain's energy just trying to hear the words that are spoken, mm -hmm. you don't have a lot of energy left to actually remember what you heard. Oh. So there are actually some new studies out that are showing that people who get treatment for their hearing loss, their memory scores start to improve dramatically. Oh. Because now they're hearing, uh -huh. they don't have to concentrate so hard on hearing, they can spend more time focusing on remembering. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to make sure that they do is, is not only hear, but remember what they've heard. Sure. Um, and it's also one of the things we get people coming in saying, well, we think, you know, adult children, my mom, well, my parents, my mother, uh, you know, we think she might be getting Alzheimer's or mm -hmm. dementia. Well, let's wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Let's test the hearing first and find out. If sure. she's not hearing things, mm -hmm. then there's a good likelihood that she's not remembering because mm -hmm. she can't hear it, and she's just starting to withdraw. Right. And that's what we don't want to have happen. Mm -hmm. And so they don't want to do their social activities that they normally do, so they spend a lot more time at home. Yep. They right. withdraw from family functions. They mm -hmm. don't go to bridge games with friends anymore. Mm. They stop going to restaurants. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's really, it's a situation that can be avoided mm -hmm. um, if we would just be able to get them to come and see us earlier. Sure. So let's say I want to bring my mom to you. Mm -hmm. What would I need to do then to do that? It's very simple. Call mm -hmm. uh, call our number. Um, okay. You can get online at our website, thehearingshops.com. Mm -hmm. um, schedule an appointment. Sure. takes about 45 minutes to an hour to okay. do the test, and then we demonstrate different hearing aids. Okay. Um, and it's very simple. Mm -hmm. um, at the hearing shops, we are, are, we're a very laid-back atmosphere. We want people to be, feel very comfortable with any decision that they make. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't feel that you should be pressured into making a decision, especially when it comes to your hearing, yes. um, but you should be able to make an informed decision. So everything that we do is, is out in the open, um, full disclosure. Um, and we also have a 60-day risk-free policy because mm -hmm. if it doesn't do what you need it to do, mm -hmm. then it's a bad investment. Right. And we can't afford to have a bad investment with people when it comes to their hearing. Mm -hmm. So I bet a lot of times you just see people light up when you had them put on the hearing aid. We do. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's one thing I tell my employees all the time. You, you literally have a job that every day you go to work, you have a chance to change somebody's life. Mm -hmm. and, and not very many people have that. Yeah, and so we, we cherish it and, mm -hmm. and we make sure that uh, what we do does actually change people's lives. And mm -hmm. it changes the lives of not just them, mm -hmm. their entire family. Yes. You know, we see families together again, mm -hmm. having birthday parties, going to restaurants, doing the things that they used to do mm -hmm. with everybody involved. Yes. And what a great quality of life you're giving back to them as well. Absolutely. Yeah, that's great. Well, we have a few minutes left. Okay. And so I would like for you to share anything, any last minute thoughts with my viewers. Sure. Okay. Um, I would really encourage you, if you feel like you, you, your hearing is now getting to a point where it's prohibiting you from doing things or making you not want to do things that you've done in the past, to come and see us. Uh, it's very, very easy. Um, you can call our 888 number. You can get online at thehearingshops.com. Um, and if you mention to any of our staff that you saw us here on Knowledge for Wellness, we'll, uh, we'll throw in an extra year of batteries and an extra year of warranty on any purchase that you have because we really want you to come and see us and have your hearing tested. The, the good news is, is that it could very likely be earwax. It could very likely be nothing. And we can tell you you have normal hearing. And now we've got a good baseline test 
if you ever feel like it's getting worse. Mm -hmm. Or if we find that you have a hearing loss, we've got a lot of solutions and, and a lot of choices that can be made uh, at multiple price points um, that you get you back involved again with the family. And that's the most important thing. We want you to live life, live life to the fullest. Um, and that involves hearing everything that you need to hear. Yeah, especially your grandchildren as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. This has been fantastic. And I, any testimonies or anything that you want to share with my viewers too? Uh, well, one of your good friends who's yes. been on the show, Kay. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kay is a patient of ours who was, is, is a perfect case for, mm -hmm. uh, knew there were some issues, but really didn't want to do anything or was just kind of reluctant to do anything. And now, uh, now that she's got her new hearing devices, uh, you can see it in her eyes. Yes. Uh, she's just lit, lit back up again. Yes. Uh, and it's fun to see. Yes. And her husband is very gracious also her that husband, uh, yeah. she can hear him when uh, he calls for her or they're having a conversation. She's a lot more involved. Instead of struggling yeah. to hear him, she actually gets you know, the content of what he's saying to her. It is. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's fun to see couples actually watching TV together again mm -hmm. and uh, doing things together again. Uh, and it's nice to see uh, when the spouse of somebody with hearing loss doesn't have to be the interpreter anymore. Yes. Um, and, and it just, it, ch it really changes uh, the whole family's yeah. life. And the relationship as well. Absolutely. Yeah, I appreciate that. Well, if you have any questions or would like to contact Matt, please contact him at www.thehearingshops.com. And I want to thank you so much of your insight on thank all you. of this great new technology. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And the mission of Knowledge for Wellness is to inform viewers on health issues, to expose, educate, and make viewers aware to enhance themselves and their loved ones for a better quality of life. And I hope we have provided you with more knowledge to benefit you and your loved ones. So until next time, be well and goodbye. Thanks again, Matt. Thank you. Like could still shine through, and at times it's just enough.